Sierra Ridley's three-year-old son was diagnosed with leukemia, and uh, she decided to go through the traditional route of putting this small child under chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Now, while she did that, she noticed that her son was violently sick. Most people do get sick when they undergo chemotherapy and radiation therapy. In fact, uh, three-year-old Landon suffered nerve damage in his legs, nausea that led to vomiting dozens of times a day, intense pain, and at least one point, uh, he went 25 days without eating following the treatment. Wow. So it had gotten very serious, and Sierra had gotten very, very desperate in the situation, understandably so. So she decided to move from Utah to Colorado to actually take advantage of their medicinal marijuana laws there. And as you guys know, in Colorado, um, marijuana can be used for recreational use for people who are above the age of 18. Um, but she decided to try this non-traditional method or, or strategy to help with her son's leukemia. And surprisingly, it worked. Now there have been studies in the past, one study, I should be very specific, that did find that marijuana, the non-psychoactive component of marijuana, can stop cancer from metastasizing. Um, however, there needs to be more studies done into that. But it was kind of incredible because it turns out that CBD, the non-toxic, non-psychoactive compound found in cannabis, in the cannabis plant, can actually stop uh, metastasis in many kinds of aggressive cancer. And Sierra Ridley says the following, as soon as we started taking the oil, the platelets have been a regular healthy person's level and doctors can't understand why. So that's an amazing story. Obviously, it's just one person, one case. Uh, so you shouldn't assume that that's going to work in your case, and you know, uh, obviously listen to medical professionals, etc. But there is that one study, so it's not like it's out of you know, it's not a miracle. It's based in science. Uh, there's at least some science yeah. to back it up, and obviously everybody reacts differently, right? Yeah, so, so let me jump in and talk about that study a little more because it is really groundbreaking and I want to tell you how the researchers did it. So um, these are researchers from the California Pacific Medical Center in San Francisco and originally they started off the study by um, taking that non-psychoactive marijuana compound, CBD, and they uh, combined it into a petri dish that had a gene that allows cancer to aggressively metastasize or spread. And what they noticed is as soon as they introduced that gene to CBD, it stopped metastasizing. So then they uh, tried this on animals. They did animal testing and they noticed a similar reaction. Now, you need to get permission from the United States in order to do this type of study on humans because remember, the U.S. has marijuana listed as a Schedule One drug, meaning that it has no medicinal value. So as a result, a lot of researchers can't do more testing. But this is groundbreaking. And I mean, can you imagine if, if they do more testing and they find out that something like marijuana can stop cancer from spreading. This little boy's cancer is now in remission. Mm -hmm. And even if it works in some of the cases, well then there's still tremendous value in it. Definitely. And we should at the very least definitely study it. And if you don't agree to that, well then you're a quack. I mean, if you say no, we shouldn't study something because the government told me that it's bad. Well, obviously you're no scientist at all. So it's great news for the kid and and chemo's really tough. You know, it's obviously super, super tough, especially for a three-year-old. The yeah. fact that he had an alternative that both worked and spared him the pain of chemo is awesome news.